Hi, this is Catherine Gran here with Aria. She's our two month old little gorilla filly. She'll be registered as an Appaloosa. Her mother is that gorgeous gorilla mare over there. She looks a little red in coloring right now, but she's gonna shed out that coat and be probably a very similar color to her mom. And she's been uh, imprinted at birth, handled since birth, and just a lovely, sweet little foal, and she is for sale. So we're gonna show you some early training. Uh, we did a video with Finn kind of showing early, early halter training. She's at the point now that I'm not using the rope around her butt anymore. I'm just asking her to leave from her face. And you always wanna start out very soft, asking him to do anything, because then you're gonna get a nice, soft animal. So you can see she's leading nicely. Another thing that I do with them they're born as well as so I'll run a rope right around where you'd have a girth kind of pull up with some gentle pressure you don't have to pull up really hard but that'll get them used to the sensation of a girth when they're first born and they're not too tall we'll actually straddle with them not putting any weight on them I'll put like just press a little weight on her back where saddle would go again being aware she's young and can't take a whole lot of weight with an animal that's this size to get them used to those things. So if you have the option doing the early training, desensitization, everything like that is really, really a great idea. Another thing I like to do is get them used to rope under their tail. If she's ever been with a crouper, or if anyone's ever using her to pony another animal, she might get a rope under their tail. And I've been in situations with this where the animal started bucking or blew up. Just another nice thing to get them used to. Slide it down the length of their tail. Good. And if you look at a uh, Dr. Miller imprint training book, he's a really good resource for early training and imprint training. The biggest key and one of the things he said he regretted about it so many people go through the paces and not wait for the animal to actually relax. That's so important. So a lot of animals are ear shy, especially with the mules and with the horses as well. They do a lot of work with their ears. She pretty well likes that. Babies generally really enjoy being scratched, especially after they're a week or two old. So it's good to give them a nice reward. For this age animal, I usually keep training sessions under 10 or 15 minutes. You don't want to go too much further. When they're really young, you don't want them very long at all because they want to nurse regularly. They don't have a long attention span. You can kind of start to lengthen them. And she really likes them butt scratches, don't you? 
Uh, she is a great filly, excellent mind. Her mother is super calm as well, and she's for sale. So check her out at Grand Ranch Horses and Mules, and uh, she's listed on Equine now as well. Thanks for watching, everyone.